Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 25, writing division answers as mixed numbers and multiples. So here I have a 15 inch length of ribbon was cut into four equal lengths. How long was each piece of ribbon? I'm going to take the 15 inches and divide it by four. Four goes in 15 three times. Four times three is 12. Subtract, three left over. Now up to now, we've just written this as a remainder three. But I can cut ribbon in smaller than an inch sections, okay? Because we have half an inch and three quarters and one fourth and everything. So instead I'm going to write this as a fraction remainder. So I add my, my fraction bar here, and then the numerator is my remainder, so that's three. And the denominator is my divisor, or the number I'm dividing by, four. So I can cut this ribbon into four equal pieces that are three and three-fourths inches long. So here I have a whole circle is 100%. One third of a circle is what percent of a circle? So I want this to be a whole number without remainders. So I'm going to take 100%. And since it's one third of a circle, I can just divide this by three. Three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract, one bring down the zero. Three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract, one left over. So I have 33, I put my fraction, the numerator is the remainder, the denominator is what I'm dividing by. So my answer is 33 and one third percent. I can also do that when I want to change an improper fraction into a mixed number. Remember this bar right here means divide. So I'm going to divide 25 divided by 6. Remember, the first number goes inside the box. So 6 goes into 25 four times. 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1, so I have 1 left over. So to make this a mixed number, I put in my fraction bar. The number 1 goes into the numerator, and the number 6 becomes the denominator. So 25 sixths is the same as 4 and 1 sixth. Now the second half of this lesson is finding multiples. Multiples are when we take a number and multiply that number by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So here I'm looking for the first four multiples of 8. So I take 8 and I'm going to multiply it by 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So the first four multiples of 8 are 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, and 8 times 4 is 32. These are the multiples of 8. Now when I think multiples, I think multiply, which means I'm getting bigger. Do not confuse this with factors. Factors are when I take the number given, so in this case 8, and make a T chart to find out what numbers go into 8. So like 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. These are not factors. Multiples are multiplying 8 by 1, 2, and 3, so on to get bigger numbers. Okay. So this wants to know what is the eighth multiple of seven? Well, the eighth multiple is going to be just seven times eight. And seven times eight equals 56. So the eighth multiple is 56. Hey, okay. and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.